I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Dawn of Hilbert. Get lost and die. Uh, photosensitive epilepsy warning, as you can read on the screen here. We're going to start in one, three, two, one. Arg! I hate when 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 games resize the window and stuff. It's like is really annoying for recording. Post process. Why is everything on low? I don't have, uh, I'm, I'm sure this isn't quite AAA graphics requirements, so let's just put everything on Mega, and I'm pretty sure I'll still get 60 frames for a second. I still am on a pretty old spacebar. <coughs> Jump slash eye storm? Quartz chopper? I love these options, or these things we've got. Q, ultimate self-positioning machination. Now, all of these sound very good, sound options. I love that sound that I'm pretty sure is just someone going <coughs> So, okay, um, there's five levels. I'm pretty sure they're random. Yeah, procedurally generated madness. The I want to read you this email that I got. Um, I made a game called Dawn of... <laughs> it is a surreal roguelike FPS. My main inspirations were Kirby, Nightmare, and Dreamland, Pac-Man Championship DX, and Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkadachi 2. I... I'm not sure how that... I have no idea what just happened. Um, I'm not sure how those three things can mix, but I'm very interested in finding this out. Oh. Key! Okay, oh! Was that a bad? Did... Did I just shoot a nipple? Pretty sure those are nipples. I think I just ate that nipple. On... Is that the thing from Read Old Day Memories? Is that Turing? Aw, oh, Turing's dead now. It looks like very angry Turing. Time cell active? Whoa! I think I'm limited to my charge shots. No idea what's going on in this game. Oh! I'm out of gun shoot. Fortunately, the Turings just kill themselves. I win! Woo! That's me. I'm so glad they got this actual picture of me. Alright. Is that a tomato? Alright, let's get that tomato coin. I guess that person in the background is just a red herring. I- whoop! Oh. Die, Turing! Woo! Whoa! Oh no, don't kill me. Oh, I don't think I want to touch that. Though touching them seems to increase my score. And I definitely care about my score in this random game. I need that key! Get out of my way, Turing! Get out of my way, other Turing! Oh, I'm out of ability to shoot. Activating the time cell seems to, um, give me extra gun shoot. I think I'm doing well? I... Why, why am I not exiting the level? I cannot self-terminate. I guess I need to keep picking these up. These little tomato coins? Is that the, is that the Kirby inspiration? Tomato coins? Okay, now I... I guess I didn't get the key? I win! Die, Turing. Oh, I couldn't kill him. I guess we get the same little dude. I wondered if this was randomly generated, but I guess it's not. This is me procedurally generated. Keys. Hmm. It's not... Up, 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 up! Nope, 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 nope. Dead. Game over. Hmm. Average score? Oh man, I did way better than average. Total games two? Alright. Get lost and die. Well, I did half of that. Stage one. Ugh. It's frustrating that you have to click to, uh, ooh. Hello, pretty tree. Um, ooh. I like this world better. 
Got a little heart. Oh. Ow. That was a bad. I'm not sure what the bads and the goods are. I guess the bads mostly look like Turing. Bye. What is that? Did I get the key or not? I guess I didn't. Can I leave now? No? Where's the... Why can't I get the key? Okay. I have no idea and I don't think I... I, think, I don't think I'm supposed to know what's going on. It is frustrating that I have to click in to start looking around whenever a new level starts. Is this supposed to be pitch black? I guess I can do that to light things up. Ah! Turing, no! Turing, no! Excuse you! Where's the other keys? What? Phone. Yes, that is a phone. Ah! Turing, no! Did... What? How do I... I'm really not sure how the... Oh! I was missing a key. Okay. Finding keys is very difficult sometimes. I guess I kind of understand. Oh, there's a count for how many keys you need. Okay, if I right-click, I can not shoot. I like the wallpaper in this universe. I guess it's more of a skybox than wallpaper, but... I'm sorry, I have to eat all these eggs. I need my protein. I'm a growing boy! I need my protein! It's a very delicious map. Look at those little happy uh, pumpkins. I forgot what pumpkins were for a second. It's one of those things where I have no idea what's going on, but I rather like it. I rather like it. Oops. Sorry. I, I'm not sure if you'll notice that, but I accidentally stopped and started the recording. Um. I'm not really digging these... Huh? Oh, it's a teleporter. I guess you can pick things up with your lasers. I'm not digging these total darkness levels, because I don't think I have infinite ability to see. Like, I'm pretty sure I have limited charges on my thing. And it also doubles as my ability to... Oh. Where's the... Where's the last key? It doubles as my ammo, too, so I don't want to waste all of it. Where's the last key? Hmm. I was going to say words, but then I canceled the recording and forgot the words I said. Oh, the... I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the game is name your own price slash free on itch.io. Link in the- oh! Ah, the mouse cursor isn't captured since I accidentally clicked out of the window. That's a- I think that's a Unity bug. I'm not sure if devs can fix that or not. Unity! I wish they had held themselves to a bit higher standard considering, like, more than 50% of new indie games tend to use Unity. Yet it has these bugs that are like pretty major and then you know like every game in the universe has those same bugs it's like a pretty big deal do we just get constant points for his existing no we don't it's just it just counts up slowly so that that's a teleporter not a throw you in a direction porter I'm getting kind of tired of this environment. I want to see the other one. There's five. Oh! There's five environments, and we've only seen two. I kind of want to suicide just to see the other environments. Yeah, I'll, I'll see one more level in case. Oops, lasers. Batteries! 
in case there's another instance. Like that really cool place full of eggs. You know what I mean. Like, I want to see if there's another weird level like that. No, it's just another one of these. See, so yeah, I'm pretty much done with these levels. I don't really... I love the trees, but the darkness is a bit much. I seem to have a flashlight now. Is there... No. I'm not sure why I had a flashlight. Oh, it's because of the energy... Wait, no. I honestly don't know. Let's... Let's double check my controls here. Uh, controls, focus, F. What is focus? Volt, bolt, left shift. What is this left shift? I have no idea what volt, bolt is. I have no idea what Volbold is. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back to Photo. Up oh, trees. Not quite Minecraft. Tree hell. Well, that was easy. I have to see what's up here. I Shut up, Turing. I have to see what's up here first. Nothing too fancy. Wait, what? Is that another? Oh no, that's just the thing. The particle effect from down here. Alright. Ah, it's so annoying that I have to click in. Like, I think it recreates the, the window or something, and then I have to click back into the window. Because I have to click in every time to get the mouse to start moving. It's obviously not super polished asking tons of me expensive game you know but uh oops it would be nice to get see some of those issues fixed i'm all for weird games that are also like decently polished too like though i i don't really i can't complain too much for free weird game that'll entertain me if you know a half hour or whatever. That is totally fine with me. Hello, Mr. Key. Yeah, I like this... I like the visibility a bit better in this map, though, that... It, it can't be just trees. I gotta have a little bit more than trees. Nothing against trees, but, uh... <sighs> Left shift isn't doing anything. Oh, is it because my batteries are out? Oh! It's a speed thingy! I think it wastes my energy, too. What did I do? I clicked out of the window. Oh, right. It's... yeah, it's that Unity issue again. Not exactly that game, the game's fault. I don't think you can fix that, because I haven't really seen that be fixed, anyway. Where is the key? Oh. Yeah, these are hard to see sometimes. I, th I think I'm very close to dying. I want to get out of here so fast. Well, there's lots of Turing's in here. Alright, it's just trees. Alright, I, I guess we're done with this one if it's just trees. Alright, I went and restarted the game. I think to fix that not lock, mouse lock thing, you just close the game and re-enter it. Ooh! I'm liking this. Oh, I thought the music, or I thought the world was audio reactive for a second, but... Oh no, it's just when I move. Though it's still trippy as hell. Aw! Oh, it stopped being... It stopped being trippy! Come on, ow! I'm gonna need you to stop doing that right now, buddy. That's right. Oh goodness, my eyes. Ooh, I love this world. I love. I just want to take a nap in this glowy hellscape. This changes the audio too. Yeah, I think we are mouse locked now. So the if you get that Unity bug where the mouse is unlocked, that usually just happens when you um 
whenever you click out of a game, and if you uh, if you close and restart, it should be mouse locked again. But of course, the issue. Are you kidding me? The issue will happen again if you know you click out again and mess it up. I want to see more of Vertuk, actually. We did not see enough. I think this is my favorite one yet. I want to play a mode that mixes all five, really. I'm not sure this next level screen is entirely necessary. What? <sighs> okay, I don't like that you can just kind of randomly fall out of this map. Oh well, I guess we've seen about what there is to see in Hor Horror or er, Vertuk. We'll take one last look after we check out this one. Oh, it's horror! I get it. That was confusing. It's horror. Oh. Oh, I thought I thought I thought the whole map was gonna be that theme. No. Excuse you. Oh man, that lighting effect. Excuse you. Where are the keys? Oh, there are the keys. Excuse me. Oh. All of the keys. It doesn't quite look like you can get the keys that are at your max jump height, but you can. I guess you're taller than you look. This score screen's kind of unnecessary. Do I have double shot? I don't need more. It's very confusing, but definitely weird enough to be interesting. What is that? Hey! King time? I was reading the time! That that vintage king king time watch. Everybody loves the king time watches. So I guess this world is horror themed? I guess it's got the rust and occasionally blood. Why is the spiky Turing asleep? I guess the eye things are the Kirby inspiration? I'm not seeing tons of Kirby. Oh, different background. I like that background. It's a good background. Hmm. See, I think we've seen about all of the textures there are to see. What is this? But I would kind of love to just, just see, like, oh! It's kind of like that game LSD, the, um... The PS1 game, not the drug. Um, is that procedurally generated or not? I, I need to get a copy of that game. I'm not sure how many billion dollars it costs. I wonder if... Can you get that game on Japanese PSN? I'd definitely like to play that, but I have no idea how to procure a copy of it. Um, it seems very much right up my alley. Oh! Cool new texture. But yeah, I would love to play just an expanded version of this with... Um, Random mixes of all the levels, and just sort of a more exploratory focus. And the ability to see, I, I'm not really digging the darkness levels, because I, I want to see all of the cool weird stuff. And sometimes darkness is okay, but when it's like, when my main thing is wanting to see what's going on, obviously darkness can be a little bit of an issue. I think the interface is deliberately confusing. But I'm... I will definitely note that I am confused interface-wise. I enjoy being confused... visually-wise, but... less so UI-wise. Ow. Oh, my back is screwed up today. Ugh, desk jobs are fun, kids. Ugh. Though a cool trick, um... I sound like some sort of like 40 year old man giving you back pain tips, but um, if you just lay down on your back on the actual, like on the actual floor, like get a nice pillow for your head, but uh, 
just lay totally flat on the on your back on the floor. You actually get to rest your back. Even in bed and stuff, your be your your back muscles aren't totally relaxed. So just laying it down on a flat, hard surface can really help. Ugh. As someone who constantly plays video games and programs and stuff. Back issues definitely are a thing. There we go! Where has all of this blood been this whole time? I wanted to see the blood. In before this video is banned for explicit nipple chips. You can destroy the objects? Hey, don't laser me. Hold on, this game just got slightly more interesting. I don't really have the energy to waste, but it's neat that these are destructible. I'll give you slight bonus points for that. It would be more bonus points if ammo weren't so limited. It's not really a major concern, but it's just enough of a concern for me to not want to laser everything. Okay, now where's the exit? Oh, keys. Oh, I do... the... the exit glowing is actually a great touch, because it's much easier to see. I'm doing amazing! I guess maybe we can consider this a high score, Ron. I, I'm a little disappointed. What was that egg... I want to see more places like that egg hell that I was in. Like, was that a bonus stage? Because I want more of that. It gets a little plain, even when it's like, you know, crazy whatever stuff going on. It gets a little plain when it's the same crazy whatever stuff. I didn't actually mean to shoot all those keys. I have no idea what my health- oh, I have times five- OW! Okay, so you do have a health meter thingy. And so those hearts probably were healing me. Okay, I just am now noticing this. I am smart. Oh no! Okay. Where is the key? Okay, no. No! I'm not sure how I'm not dead. Ah! Okay. Where's the freaking exit? I'm so gonna die. I'm so dead. Okay, there's the exit. There's gonna be a laser that spawns behind me or some crap. I just know it. Oh, goodness. Wait. There's one more key? I'm out of energy. I can't see. Where's the key? Ah! Whoa! Where did you come from? Or was that me? Was that my body? Let's just do a quick thing to see if there's anything more to see. No. I guess I should have been collecting those hearts. I was just kind of figuring they were normal collectibles. Alright, I guess we've pretty much seen what there is to see. But yeah, like I said, this is a pay what you want game on itch.io. You can download it. Derp around all you want. Wait, there's a return to base button, but I, I I didn't have the key, so that wouldn't have helped. I don't entirely grok what's like how to control this game, but but yeah, that is Dawn of Hubtkach. <laughs> yes, average score one thousand. Oh, that's my average score, not like the internet's average score. Huh? I think. All right, let's do the credits. Mega Eggs! Anyway, game by Josh Whiteside. MegaEggs.com. Dawn of... <laughs> Get lost and die. Copyright. Beebus font by Flatit. Ample fonts. Capture it font. This is, this is the power of Unreal Engine 4. You can't remake this game in Unreal Engine 4 because it's already there. So that's one game they're not going to remake in Unreal Engine 4. If you need bugs or anything, really email at hello at megaeggs.com. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making, I guess.